March 20th. How about? <laughs> right, let's see if we can go where there's some light here. Alright, go ahead. Alright, fighthype.com here with uh, promoter Terry Lane. Let's get it on. Your fighter Jesse Brinkley, big win tonight over uh, uh, Curtis Stevens. A uh, little uh, anxious moments at the beginning, but then he took control and he, uh, he seized command and kept it. Uh, how proud are you, are you, are you of him? Uh, I couldn't be more proud. I mean, uh, talking about hard work, having a game plan, executing it, sticking to it. Um, I can't be more happy with Jesse's performance tonight. Alright, uh, so, uh, you see a Boutte, uh, Boutte, we're coming for you. We're coming for you. How is Canada in April? We're going. We're gonna get. I'm confident it'll get done. Jesse said May. No, he was wrong. It's, it's April. <laughs> All right. So it sounds April like 17th on uh, Kelly Pavlik under uh, as a co-main event. Um, that, that that's what's being discussed currently. Um, you know, HBO. Uh, Jesse Brinkley is America, and uh, people love him in in Reno, and they'll love him all over. So uh, make that fight happen. Do you think the performance that Jesse gave tonight would make him more likely? to end up on HBO, make him a little bit more marketable. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you saw the real Jesse Brinkley. You saw what he can do. And, uh, um, look, he's the most marketable person on the planet as far as I'm concerned. I mean, look what we've done with him here. Um, uh, he is the real deal. He can fight, and um, we need to get this done on HBO. The other fighters on the card, uh, Tyler Hinky, uh, another draw. Brandon Gonzalez looked great in his second round stoppage. Um, <coughs> A co promotion with Star Boxing. Um, everything seems to be moving along smoothly. Uh, what's in the works for the future? Um, the future, uh, obviously, a title shot for Jesse, but then we're working on the Johnson Jeffries event for uh, uh, July 3rd and 4th, 2010, uh, celebrating the biggest day in Reno, which was the Johnson Jeffries fight in 1910. But um, that's in the future. Um, we've got some great partners. I'm so excited about what's happening with that. But, uh, you know, just keep plugging along, just keep doing the shows and, you know, keep moving fighters. Brandon is, I can't say enough good things about Brandon. Where do you see Brandon at the end of the year? Um, he should be uh, maybe a, a regional title, something similar to the USNBC. Uh, that's what we were going for. And he's fought guys that have stood and fought with him. He fought a guy tonight that was trying to move around. Uh, Brandon does appear to be flawless in that there hasn't been a style that has really competed with his. I, I don't. <laughs> he's a tough guy to beat, man. Uh, uh, I'm happy to be working with him, and we're going to keep going with him. That that is the guy to keep your eye on. Um. Anything you're saying close? Uh, just thank you to Fight Hype. Uh, we are not, we could not be here without the support of people like you and uh, to cover us and stuff like that. So I'm grateful. Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to continue to put on good fights. Uh, thank you. And, and thanks again thank for uh, always looking up for, for fights.